Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to another music class, 30 videos in 30 days. I'm playing catch up right now. Three videos in one day, amazing amount of content. It's just because I'm behind, whatever. <laughs> no nothing music, Steven. In a weird mood, I've had a ton of coffee today, so we're gonna try to get into this. Today, how, you know, I've restarted this video like three or four times already, and I'm trying to think of how to, how to frame this the right way, but I'll just present what's on the board and we'll get into it. It's gonna kind of be an expansion and a clarification on a video that I've done about scale degrees and chord names as well as intervals. So let me just show you what I have up here and then we'll kind of pick it apart. There's the chord number in that if I'm in the key of blah, 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 the three chord is a certain thing. We've covered this in our harmonization videos. But also we've done a video on scale degrees in that um, if I'm on the one in the scale, I go up a certain amount to what's called the three and that note is a certain thing in that key. Again, I'm, uh, I'm relying on the fact that you guys have seen the old videos. If you haven't, you should watch them. But what sometimes gets confusing in class, this is experience I've had in a lot of classes before. If I say play the two chord, that is not always the same thing as playing the two. Now, if we know we're talking about chords and I say, hey, go to the two, you know that it's the chord. But there's a difference between the two chord and the two of that chord. That's probably the best, you know, like I said, I've restarted this video many, many times. That's probably the best I've put it so far. There's a difference between the two chord and the two of a certain chord. Let's, let's use an example. We're in the key of C right now. And I say go to the two chord, okay? That's D minor. We've gone up a whole step from C to D, and it's a minor seven. So D minor seven would be the two chord if we're at the seventh chord level. But also, inside of any particular chord, and the chord we're talking about right now is a D minor, D minor seven, the two of that chord is an E. And here's the way you do it. You reapply the major scale to the chord we're talking about. So what's really going on is you have your chord number in a particular key, and then you have the scale degree inside of said chord, and the way you figure it out is you use the same major scale system to figure it out. So let me pick apart that D minor a little bit more. We said we're playing the, two, the D minor seven, which is the two chord in the key of C. And now I want you to play or think about the two of a D minor seven. So I'm talking about the scale degree that is a two of D minor seven, and that's E because you apply the major scale to whatever chord you're doing. Even if the chord isn't a major chord, this is where it gets a little bit weird. Even if the chord isn't a major chord, if we're doing a minor seven right now, but you're still going to apply the major scale to that chord to figure out what the numbers are. So the two of, of a D minor seven is E because the two is a whole step above the one. The next note, and we've learned before that a minor seven chord is, is the half step formula, three, four, three, go up three half steps, four half steps, three half steps to make that chord. You'll, you'll know that the second note in a D minor seven is an F. So what is that note to a D? That's really what we're trying to figure out is that every single note means a certain thing numerically to another note or another chord. So an F in, that, in the, this situation is not, the, is not the three of a D. The natural three is up two whole steps from the root note. F is not up two whole steps from the root note. It's up a whole and a half step making it the flat three to that chord. We've reviewed this a little bit in other videos, but what I'm trying to say to you today is that every note means a certain thing to every note, okay? And you can go over to a piano and play any note, and you can go up the chromatic scale and be able to mathematically define every single one of them. So, and, and the reason, purpose for this video today is to talk, is talk about the difference between referring to the chord number that you're supposed to go to, and that's, we've covered that before. You, cover the, you, you apply the major scale to the key you're in, you find out what number you're on, and you go to the correlated harmonization, whether you're at the triad level or at the seventh chord level, but also inside of every single chord, you can talk about the numerical scale degree that's in the chord. And these are two different things, but they're certainly related because you apply the major scale in both instances. So really what I'm saying is watch your language. It's that if you're deal dealing with a novice, you're gonna have to be careful to say, 
go to the three chord rather than play the three of that chord. When you get to the higher levels, I mean, especially with uh, with with jazzers, they'll know what you're talking about. If you say, hey, add the three to that chord. Hey, add the seven. Yeah, it's the two chord with the seven added to it. It's the five chord. Go to the five. Play the f sharp four of this chord. So again, it's really, this is kind of going to be a little bit quicker of a video right now because I'm not going to give you all the different examples. Just know from a language perspective, when you're talking about what chord to go to, you'll say, hey, go to the two chord. It's, you know, in the key of B flat, it's C minor seven. But the scale degrees that make up that C minor seven are the one, the flat three, the five, and the flat seven. And when you start to improvise and add extra notes, be like, hey, yeah, you wanna add a two on top of that. That doesn't mean add the two on top of that. If I say, hey, Play, play the one chord in the key of B flat. That's B flat major seven. Add a two onto that chord. That doesn't mean play a C minor seven and a B flat major seven at the same time. It means add the second scale degree of that chord to that chord. The note is a C, so you're gonna play those notes. You're gonna play the, you're gonna play the one, the two, the three, the four, and the seven. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. I mean, um, there's, I mean, one th thing to kind of close the video out on is we're throwing out a lot of numbers here. And obviously I understand that. I mean, we're just this number, that number, this number, that number. But just like measurement, if I say, hey, go two away. If I'm telling someone to travel, hey, go two away. Inches, feet, miles, countries, counties, towns. You have to know what you're actually, what, what quantity you're actually describing, what quality you're actually describing. The quantity depends on what you're actually saying you know are you saying go two scale degrees away go to the two chord go to the second beat we'll get into that another time too but there's all these two three four five six and what is important that you know am i describing scale scale degrees chord numbers beats or whatever so i guess that's what this video is on right now there's a difference between the chord number that you're describing and the scale degree inside of that chord, or even if it's just a melody. I mean, if you went over to sheet music, no one really does this because when you learn how to read, you just read. But when you're going over to sheet music, you could do an exercise and talk about, hey, I'm go they're playing the three, then the four, the then the five in this chord. And that's how they're constructing a melody. But yeah, I hope that makes sense, guys. Let me know in the comment section how I did or whether if there's a specific question or something like that. If you do give me a specific question in the comments and I can't uh, answer it very fast, I'll, I'll just make a video on it and try to be really clear about describing it. But that video is on the differ differentiation between chord numbers and scale degrees. Blah, 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 blah. Have a good day and I'll see you guys for the next video.